one it's charlton please subscribe to my channel tap the notification bell and like this video that keeps uh, me make it helps me to keep making videos i'd appreciate it majorly all right so you know i kind of talked about this concept a little bit before but i'm gonna revisit it i mean everybody revisits things over and over uh, over anyway so i think i can do it too and it's very appropriate you know i mean Everyone's talking, not everyone, but a lot of people are, you know, blaming this on the Clintons, the Clintons, the Clintons, you know. It's all anybody ever talked about was Pizzagate this and Pizzagate that until, you know, uh, Epstein, you know, and, and, and which is similar to Epstein, you know, until it involved Trump, until it might actually implica implicate Trump, you know. And you know my opinion, you know that I think Trump basically blackmailed Hillary into losing the election on purpose you know, and I think he was able to do it through Epstein. You know, I don't know what, what motivation Epstein had to do that. I mean, it's all just a theory anyways. But what I'm here to, to illustrate is that, you know, the idea that the Clintons that would have been behind this, behind taking out Epstein, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And it doesn't. And it goes to, not exactly, ex precisely to this individual, although he's an, he's an example of what I'm talking about. Let me just come out and say it, which is, you know, the Department of Justice uh, changed their policy so that they're going to begin federal executions again. Okay, they, the, 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 G, the DOJ, the federal government, have, hasn't executed somebody for 16 years. But, you know, in, on July 25th, which is, um, you know, it's like less than three weeks after Epstein is, is arrested, the DOJ decides that they're going to begin executing people, and they're going to begin as soon as, 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 as quickly as this winter, you know, in a few months, okay? And they've already, like, named five persons that basically will be the first to be executed, who've already been tried and found guilty and, and are facing the death penalty. This person hasn't even been tried yet. This dude's name is Nicholas, that name, I always screw it up, but Tartaglione. And this is the cellmate of Epstein at one point. I don't know that he was, you know, cellmates with them as of yesterday or, you know, the night before. While I don't know who, uh, you know, nobody seems to know right now if Epstein had a cellmate. I don't believe he necessarily did, but I don't know. We don't know. But he was at some point. He was his actual cellmate. And, um... You know, and he's facing the death penalty. In fact, it says in this article, and this is from March 2019, that Barr, who'd only been attorney general for about a month, a little bit more, February February at some point he was confirmed to be the attorney general, the decision to seek the penalty, uh, the, the, the capital punishment against Nicholas Tartaglione was made by U.S. Attorney General William Barr. All right, so, you know, and... Um, just keep in mind, even though uh, Epstein was arrested, listen. If you want, if you want to hear me out, you'll hear me out. I mean, if, I'm just just presenting these things because they make sense. Okay, if they didn't make sense to me, I wouldn't present them. I voted for Trump. Okay, I at one point kind of liked a lot of things about him. Certain things, not everything. There's always there was always certain things that bothered me about him. One of them, the biggest thing, was that he requires so many people to kiss his ass, and they do it. You know, it's just pathetic, but that's just, there's other things too. But I initially liked him quite a bit, you know, and I just don't care really that much. If this didn't make sense, I wouldn't be presenting it to you, okay? That's why it just, it just make, it's hilarious to watch Trump supporters twist themselves into pretzels to try to, like, um, blame this on the Clintons and... You know, and who talked about nothing but Pizzagate and the Clintons and the Clinton body count. And then as soon as this Epstein came, thing came up and it was being run through the Southern District of New York, which is all about getting after Trump, they all of a sudden became completely quiet about it. And they would just talk about all this other stuff, you know, in all these different directions and take you down pathways that were just, just didn't mean a damn thing. Because they were avoiding, you know, what was staring them in the face is the fact that it looked like uh, Trump very well would have been what I said, you know, that, like, that he was behind this, that he was working with, with Epstein somehow to blackmail his opponent, Hillary Clinton, into losing on purpose. And, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's just what I think, and I think I'm right. So um, I lost my train of thought, but I, I remember. 
You know, it's not as though they just all of a sudden arrest him July 6th. You know, they had been building that case for some time. In the Southern District of New York, you know, um, that is still the Department of Justice. It's not as though the rest of the Department of Justice or the Trump, Trump administration wouldn't have been getting wind of that. It wouldn't, it's not as though there's not people within that office that aren't leaking, you know, information to, to the Trump administration and seeking advancement for themselves in their own careers, whatever. But believe me, Attorney General Barr and others knew about this case, that they were building this case prior to July 6th. So the fact that the Attorney General is deciding, you know, just a few months prior in March uh, to pursue the death penalty for somebody who's been in isolation himself because of previous incidents, and that's where a pedophile would end up. It'd be very easy to orchestrate that. Listen, dude, you know, the, the Clintons, the Clintons can't change the policy of the, of the Department of Justice and change a policy that's been standing for 16 years to not execute people and all of a sudden, you know, three weeks after Epstein's uh, arrested, change that policy by an attorney general who was just appointed by Trump. The Clintons aren't doing that. Is Trump doing that to help the Clintons? Why is he helping the Clintons? It's not, it's not the Clintons, okay? The Clintons don't have the power to put, to put Epstein in a cell with a former police officer who's accused of four murders and is facing the death penalty that's decided by the Attorney General, okay? I forgot to, I mean, it, it, it seems like a logical inference, but let me just spell it out to you. Basically, I'm implying that somebody might be spared the death penalty if they maybe do somebody in a favor, like a favor for the Trump administration by taking out, you know, um, somebody that could cause a lot of trouble for the Trump administration, that person being Jeffrey Epstein. So somebody, you know, it might cause the Department of Justice to not be so vigorous in their pursuit of the death penalty against somebody if they happen to, you know, make somebody go away. That's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that's, that's, that's Trump, man. That is Trump who has that power. So, you know, Trump, you know, tr you know, tweeting this. And again, this, you know, it's not like I have a bone in this. All right? I'm just trying to tell you what I believe is really going on. And some people do have a bone because they just love Trump so much. They, so much. they don't want to believe anything, you know, that um, is, is, goes against, the, you know, proves that he's not a good guy. That he's basically a humongous asshole, you know. Um, but anyways, yeah, so he, he, he retweets Terrence Williams, who I'm vaguely familiar with. I know he's a big social media star and all that. And he got, he had almost 2 million views, probably more. Basically, this is, you know, this is the Clinton body count theory right here, that anybody who's had anything to do with the Clintons ends up dead. And Trump, you know, he, he tweets it, he's the radical president and all that. But what I'm telling you is what I just told you. And what I just told you makes a whole lot more sense then the Clintons being behind this. They do not have the power to change the DOJ policy from, from a, sta a standing policy that's been in place for 16 years, not executing to people to three weeks after Epstein's arrested, changing it, changing to and start implementing the death penalty beginning this winter. You know, and then and then orchestrating Trump uh, Epstein being root cellmates with somebody who's facing the death penalty, which is, is decided by the appointee. The Attorney General Barr. I've already said this, but I'm reviewing it. The Clintons don't have that power. Trump does. And that's, uh, I mean, that's pretty much the story there. I mean, I've already did that. You know, I mean, it says here that Epstein, he he confided with somebody. There's sources here. They're not named. That, you know, he, he was, somebody tried to kill him in the weeks prior to this incident, to him killing himself. You know, that it wasn't a suicide attempt. I don't know. We don't know if it was Nicholas Tartaglione. Or if, some, if it was some other prisoner, but, you know, that's that's what the source says he said, you know. And that's what the whole headline says. Epstein, Epstein told guards weeks before he, he hanged himself that someone tried to kill him. Questions mount over why billionaire pedophile was taken off suicide watch just as, uh, as, just as sex slave lawsuit named powerful friends, including Prince Andrew. Attorney General William Barr has ordered both the FBI and the Inspector General to open investigations. Good luck with that. You know, and then it says, the insider who has who has seen the disgraced financier on several occasions during his in incarceration at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, that's the jail next to the courthouse where they, all these trials take place, 
you know, in Manhattan, also claims that normally reserved Epstein seemed in good spirits, you know, recently. Jeffrey Epstein told prison guards and fellow inmates that he believed someone tra had tried to kill him in the weeks before his death. The source is revealed to uh, the Daily Mail. There was no indication that he might try to take his own life, the source told Daily Mail. From what I saw, he was finally starting to adjust to prison. I think he was comforted by the rigidity of his new life. The world uh, was left stunned early Saturday, etc. So that's, um, that's, that's my, uh, that's my story, dude. If this didn't make sense, I wouldn't be presenting it to you, okay? And we'll see, now, we'll see, we'll see come, uh, we'll see come 2020, you know? And, and my, you know, my family's all Republicans, dude. I'm just talking, I was talking to my dad all day today. You know, well, I'm a Republican. I'm super conservative, but I don't care about that anymore. I'm just losing. It doesn't matter. They're all games. Those are just like toys for that these politicians and huge rich business leaders give us to play with while they, you know, plot plot their their schemes to make more money for themselves and stuff, you know? And uh, it doesn't really matter that much. But, you know, I, st I really do think, I think Warren is going to win it all. I really do. I think she's going to win the primary, and I think she's going to beat Trump. She's going to beat an incumbent with a really good economy. We'll see if the economy is that good. This good um, come 2020. It's really good now. It is. But things can change. That's the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.